Hey YouTube comic fans, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado. I am back on with another haul video. Uh, this time made a trip to a local comic shop in my area, one I don't go into generally a lot, but uh, needed to stop in to find some uh, recent issues that I was missing. Um, while I did pick up those, I'm not showing those here, the important find that I had was a couple of boxes of magazines that he had just gotten in, which featured some of these. This is a Marvel Super Special Magazine featuring Star-Lord. Uh, this was one of the early appearances of the Star-Lord character after Marvel Premiere, uh, I'm sorry, Marvel Preview number four. Uh, this is a one-off. Uh, a lot of these Super Specials were used for uh, adaptations of movies like Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars, things like that. Those weren't the only Star-Lord ones that were found. We had uh, more of the Marvel preview series. This is issue number 18. This is issue number 15. And uh, I believe I already had the 18, but this is just an awesome Joe Jusco cover. Uh, I love the, the painted covers. They're just amazing with... Uh, with the, the space theme and, and Star-Lord in general. <clears throat> and came across a run of these. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for this. This is uh, the Hulk magazine. Uh, it started off as the Rampaging Hulk and then transitioned to the Hulk uh, about a dozen issues in. Uh, this is also obviously when, uh, when the Hulk was on TV as well. So that's issue 13, 14, 15. These are kind of big, so we're going to pull these down often. 16. Issue number 18. 20. Issue 21. 22. And probably my personal favorite, issue number 24 with the homage, the, the, the vintage uh, Hulk from the TV show with uh, Lou Ferrigno. Uh, just a super cool shot of him. Uh, great work by, uh, again, Joe Jusco. So those aren't real expensive. Uh, they didn't cost me a whole lot of money, um, but they are uh, really cool, interesting magazine stories. They're not found in the... Uh, in the comics. Uh, they've been reprinted, but uh, not very often. What really drew my attention to the, the box of magazines was actually not the Hulks and not the, the Star-Lords, but it was uh, these gorgeous Warren Magazine Vampirella issues. Uh, this one is um, Number 82, there it is, kind of hidden in there. Uh, so issue number 82, this is lower in the run, number 87. Number 101. Number 102, and I love the modeling for this because these are they're actual models that are being used uh, and then they're doing the paints of them very, similar to uh, uh, other artists of the genre, uh, Boris Vallejo uh, and Frank Frazetta. So that's issue 102. This is issue 103. They also feature uh, Pantha, uh, who is a very similar character. Issue 104. Pantha was also from the same planet as Vampirella. That's issue 108. 109 and finally issue 112 so if you get a chance to find some of these Vampirella magazines these old Warren magazines they're absolutely fabulous the stories are great the artwork is incredible uh, in most cases I, I believe the majority of the run was all done in black and white uh, and they're just they're just good reads great art uh, a lot of these old Spanish artists are just Fantastic at this, uh, but they're really classic and uh, highly collectible, obviously. And there's a, 
there's a run that's uh that i'm working on i've got uh, a handful of the key issues uh, stashed away at another lcs um ready to pick up uh so i should be adding that to the end of this video all right everybody as promised i did go back and get those vampirella issues that i was looking for that i wanted uh, that included the Frank Frazetta covers. Uh, thanks to TJ Watson, uh, one of his videos talking about uh, Vampirello, one of the comments in there uh, had been about, you know, if you're going to start picking up Vampirello, which one should you target? Uh, and TJ mentioned, you know, go after, you know, issue one, obviously, um, and then the Frazetta covers. Uh, of those, we have... Issue number 11. Again, just, you know, Frazetta is just a master. Uh, and everything he does is pretty significantly awesome. Uh, this one's a little bit more beat up than the last one. This is issue number 5. Uh, it's got some writing on it that I didn't actually notice when uh, when I first saw him. Uh, I was really excited and just didn't didn't pay enough attention. is issue number seven this is probably the nicest one of of the whole group just an absolutely beautiful clean black cover um, just gorgeous and then we have issue number three i i want to say i think it's issue eight is the one i'm missing obviously other than number one um, this one needs a, a little clean up on it but it's got a little chip down here in the bottom which is really the only major defect to it but uh, there's a super low print run on this particular issue uh, so getting them in any condition is really you know a challenge uh, but that's uh, that's it for my for my run of vampirella thanks everybody for watching thank you tj watson for always being a, an amazing source of information uh, and uh, providing the guidance on uh, which vampirella is to really kind of target on uh, thanks for watching everybody bye